So how do you feel about this meeting? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? It's not like I want to be here. Well, why did your parents make you come? I don't know. I mean, they keep giving me crap about my relationship. Like, why does that even matter? Well, what's going on in your relationship? So what happened last night? With what? With um, your boyfriend. I heard something went down. Oh, it's no big deal. I just... Someone Jordan with another chick again. I don't know. Whatever. I settled it. Oh, uh, could you figure out who it was? Did you know her? Some white chick. Oh. Yeah. But get this. My parents want me to go to therapy. Like, what the heck for? Are they crazy? I don't need therapy! <sighs> My boyfriend. He, he told me he loved me. But he's always with this other girl. And he thinks that I don't see him. He thinks that he can get away with anything that he wants to. But he can't. Well, how do you feel about this? I, uh, what do you want to do about it? What do you mean, what, what do I want to do about it? I'm, I'm are angry. You, are I'm you upset. Him? Or are you I already have. And what did he say? He says, of course, you know, I love you. What are you talking about? He basically denies everything. We have this book in psychology that I think relates to what you're going through and the kind of relationship you're having right now. And I'll read it to you, and then I would like you to tell me the ending that you think happens and why. I mean, I don't understand how it relates, but okay. You'll figure it out. In the olden time, there lived a semi-barbaric king. He was a man of exuberant fancy and had an authority that could turn fancies into facts. Among the borrowed notions by which his barbarism had become simified was that of the public arena. The vast amphitheater with its encircling ga galleries, its mysterious vaults, and its unseen passages was an agent of poetic justice. Either a crime was punished or virtue rewarded by the sole concept of chance. When accused of a crime, a public notice was sent out of the day when his fate would be decided. The subject would have the choice of two doors. One door held captive a mighty and ferocious tiger, while the other entrapped a beautiful lady. Chance would be the decider of death or innocence. The king had a beautiful daughter, and he loved her with all of his heart. One day, he discovered she was being courted by a handsome young man, and he cast the courter into prison. The most ferocious tiger was selected, as well as a beautiful lady for the trial of the young man. People came from all over to see the fate of the princess's lover for themselves. The signal was given, and the young man entered the arena. Due to the circumstances, the princess had gone to great measures to discover what was hidden behind the doors. She succeeded and knew behind which stood the tiger and which stood the lady. Her lover looked at the princess for a sign of which door to choose. She raised her right hand and made a movement toward the right. No one but her lover saw her. Every heart stopped beating and every breath was held. Every eye was fixed upon the man. Without the slightest hesitation, he went to the door on the right and opened it. Now the point of the story is this. Did the tiger come out of the door or did the lady? Well, it's simple. I mean, why would the princess want to see her loved one with someone else? Wouldn't she rather him dead? I mean, why would she want to deal with that pain?